just to clarify something with some of my friends and associates who sometimes happen to hear the conversations I have, hear some of the videos, you know, that I look at. When you hear my brothers and sisters use that term Indian in identifying ourselves, believe it, we know that we didn't call ourselves Indians until the European explorers, conquistadors, however, came over here and, and, and placed these names upon us. If you go among our circles, we don't even use that term. We identify ourselves by our tribes, by our nations. We know that um, we are people based off nations and we identify ourselves based off the land. Whether we live by a river, live in a forest, live by mounds, however, we, we, we identified ourselves with the land mass because we knew that we sprung from the earth. Now, when you hear us use the term Indian, it's a universal term now because everybody identifies the true indigenous people here by that. And reluctantly, a lot of us also use that term. For instance, when I was up um, Ramapo prayer camp, we know that the, the, the Lenape nation, they don't have teepees. They, they, they're, a long house, they're a long house people. But the chief said for the simple fact for Hollywood has, you know, how they portray us, that's how the world identify Indians. So just we use that to help support our cause or when we go in front of the UN and make our grievances known or also we know that a lot of documents and treaties have these terms Amerindian, Indian, whatever the nation that was um, used for that moment and we know that a lot of names that are that we call ourselves or people identify us with were names given to us by enemies, things like that. Really, really just to let you know this. We of the indigenous community know who we are. All right, The world know who we are. It's funny for America to be the land of opportunity. We're supposed to be the most educated, the most fluent people in the world. When I talk to the everyday Joe Schmo, that's what they are. And when you try to educate them, they're just so stuck on stupid. They'll, you know, I don't want to go this far with this. I just want to let you know that we do know that these terms can be used. I mean, they are derogatory terms. But just for the sake of some of us uh, battling in court, some of us want to expose them, we have to use these terms in order to, um, because these terms also connect us. For instance, the word Negro. If you want to find yourself, connect yourself with your heritage, you know, what's key is look at your mother's, look at your grandmother's, your great-grandmother's birth certificate, death certificate, however, look on the doll's roll, things like that. And when you see these terms, they automatically connect you to the land. And when they connect you to the land, what are you known by? As indigenous, autochthonous people. Whether you want to be Anayunuya, Yamasi, Seminole, um, Yuchi, um, however, it's, it's, there were over 500 nations here on this landmass. So we know what we're doing. We know who we are. And, and it's important that we reiterate this. We have to reassert ourselves, and sometimes if it's by using these terms to clarify things, and once you understand, then we'll give you deeper information on who we really are. All that to say is, we know that um, that term Indian was given to us, we know that, but also, we have took a deeper look into that word. That's where you got Indios, Indi leading to indigenous people. Alright, that's something to think about. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. And um a kichi way.